In past scuba diving profile videos, we've looked at renowned divers, Jack Cousteau and Sylvia Earle. But in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a very different type of diver. This Academy Award winning filmmaker is known as one of the greatest directors working today. Having directed iconic films such as Aliens and the first two Terminator movies. As well as making two of the highest grossing films of all time, Titanic and Avatar. However, we're not here just to talk about his many movie accomplishments. Did you know Cameron is actually a very prolific and decorated diver? He's made no secret for his love of diving, having made many several underwater documentaries. Much of the world of Avatar was inspired by the underwater world. The flora and fauna, for example, heavily resembles marine life such as Christmas tree worms. Cameron has described himself as both an explorer and a filmmaker. Besides filmmaking, the underwater world has been my other love. In 1989, he got the chance to combine his two passions with the science fiction film The Abyss. This film was about a diving team who were enlisted to search for a lost nuclear submarine, only to encounter an alien aquatic species. The behind the scenes drama of the production is very well documented and will go down as one of the toughest films to shoot in movie history. The actors had to spend at least 11 to 12 hours on set, 40 feet underwater. The crew, however, were even deeper. Cameron spent so much time underwater directing that he had to watch the dailies in a decompression chamber. The resilient filmmaker had to spend 10 feet underwater for an hour just to adjust to pressure difference at the end of the day. Cameron often spoke to music executives through his helmet while he decompressed. When his neck became too sore from his helmet, he would hang upside down and the crew would have to flip his monitor so we could watch the screen. As diving and directing was second nature to the director, he would often get too absorbed in his work and would have to be warned when it had been an hour since his last film. The Abyss was not the huge blockbuster Cameron and the studio had hoped for, but it will be forever known as one of the most notorious film productions ever. Moving on to Titanic, which was the highest grossing film in history until Cameron later beat his own record with Avatar. He got the idea to make the Titanic after exploring the wreck and being inspired by it. He said, I made a movie because I wanted to do an expedition to the wreck of the Titanic and I did explore it. Undertaking an exhibition to the famous wreck, he took a deep submersible to capture high detailed images. The journey was later made into a documentary entitled Ghosts of the Abyss. However, Cameron always looks for the next challenge to go bigger and better. He decided to travel to the bottom of the marina trench, the Earth's deepest pit. He outfitted the Deep Sea Challenger, a diving submersible, with state-of-the-art 3D cameras to capture his incredible journey. He descended down to an incredible 10,908 meters. It was the first ever solo dive to the bottom of the Challenger D. Describing his incredible experience, James Cameron said, There was life down there, he adds. But the overall impression when you get there is that it's all sterile and barren as the moon, as I've never felt more apart from the world. On this dive, I blazed past the Titanic depth at 12,000 feet and was only a third of the way down. And the numbers kept going up and up and up on the depth gauge. You just kind of look at them with a sense of disbelief and you wonder if the bottom is ever going to be there. What are your thoughts on James Cameron and which one of his movies are your favourite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe and to join our notification squad just hit that bell icon. Safe diving.